Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit Five. Its title is Nature's Way. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students. Today, under the title of listening and speaking, we are going to learn how to follow instructions and directions. Before this, in English for Grade Three, we have already learnt about instructions and directions. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to use appropriate expressions in conversation to respond to. instructions and directions and write multisyllable words with correct spellings these are our today's slos let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah az-zumr verse 18 who listens to speech and follow the best of it those are the ones allah has guided and those are people of understanding allah akbar yes my dear children what this beautiful verse is telling us the people who listen carefully to whatever is said to them and they follow it they are people of understanding means they are smart people so it's a big it's a very helpful tip for us to understand something we should listen carefully okay and when we listen carefully inshallah we will be among the people of understanding so how to listen careful and how if there is something we don't understand how to respond to that this is what we are going to learn today first you tell me what do you know about instructions and directions you have read it uh, studied it in grade 3 so what do you know about instructions and when your mother says give me a glass of water what will you do pause the video answer these two questions to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students i hope you could recall that directions or instructions both directions and instructions are a series of order or steps that need to be taken to achieve a certain goal means the way you want to do something all the things you are going to do to complete that to accomplish that and i'm telling you do this do this that becomes instructions or directions right so all these steps which included and sometimes it's just one instruction all right so how do we respond responses to instructions and directions may differ according to understanding of listener the way i told you if i say you something and you don't understand can you follow it of course not so it varies and if you follow your response will be different and when it's not when you don't understand your response will be different and for accurate response a listener must be attentive listening must be listening carefully this is what we are learning for today when we listen attentively or carefully mostly we understand the things and a speaker must concise and clear in speaking so this is when you are giving instruction your instruction should be clear and when you are going to get instructions someone is giving you instructions you should listen carefully okay so how do we respond if you understand the instructions like whatever instructions are given to you you understand what should you do you should say yes sir yes ma'am or i'm going to do it yes i got it i will follow it this is how we respond when we understand but in a case if you don't understand the instructions what do, what should you say we have learned polite expression so what should excuse me kindly explain again i could not understand I beg you pardon to explain the instructions again right so this is how better whenever if you understand something is wonderful but if you don't understand we should know how to respond like you should say excuse me 
I could not understand. It's okay. So the person who is telling you can explain again. Do you understand? So this is how when instructions are given to you, if you get it, you say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I got it. I will do it. I will follow it. It's absolutely right. But when you don't understand, you should say, kindly explain it again. All right. So when we say the things nicely, in both cases, we have to respond very nicely. Are you clear with it? Okay, so this is how we are going to practice today. Are you ready for an activity? Okay, so this activity is given in your book. What you are going to do, you will follow the instructions and directions of your teacher to decorate your classroom for a birthday party of your classmate. And teachers, what you are going to do, teacher will divide class in groups because there are many things to do. So teacher will make groups. Each group will be assigned a task. And teacher will pass the instructions and group will respond and execute the instructions. Maybe one group may be given the task to uh, arrange the table, other can decoration, and this is how you will make them uh, like assign them tasks and they will follow the instructions and they will respond to it. Pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now all of you settle down on your seats because we are going to practice something from your book. It's a very interesting cross puzzle, crossword puzzle. What you are going to do? Clues are gi given in form of pictures. You will look at the picture and you will complete it. For example, here number one is given its wave. What is number two? You will write it, complete this crossword puzzle and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. I know today's lecture you are enjoying a lot because it's different. So it's time for your homework. Again, in your homework, it's a different task. You are going to complete a project. And how you are going to do it? You'll visit a park and collect different leaves of trees. Now make a leaf identification card the way it's shown to you over here. Paste those cards on a chart and display your work in your class and present it. You will display it and present it what you have done. So I suggest you will complete this by this coming uh, weekend and by coming Monday you will show it in your class, right? So I'm giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do? You will read each situation and you will encircle the correct answer, okay? There are many, so you will select the correct instruction or whatever the expression, okay? So in this way, what we have learned today, we learn to use appropriate expressions in conversation to respond to instructions and directions, and we learn to write multisyllable words with correct spellings. So in this way, we achieved our SLOs to use appropriate expressions in conversation to respond to instructions and directions and write multisyllable words with correct spellings. So are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.